I have used many UI libraries like Bootstrap, ZZ and, and Material UI for both my personal projects and YouTube video that I make. But guys, Mantine UI is one of the best and most beautiful UI libraries right now and it is getting very very popular right now because of these features. So the biggest advantage is that it is open source and free. It is TypeScript based that means low chances of error and you can use it in almost every framework right now like Next.js, Remix, uh, React and name it like Vue and any other. So as written here you get 100 plus components that are by default beautiful and ready to use in your application. Also supports dark mode and you can also customize the component on the website itself then later integrate in your application by just copying the code. So guys the most common problem that I face in many UI libraries we cannot customize the components to the extent that we want and this library solves that with the help of this style of overloading. So you can select the components with the help of class and then override that styles and make it look like however you want. So guys this also supports the theming so you can change your website theme without wasting much of your time by just changing the variables. And along with that we get the hooks library with this maintain UI library that you can use as functions, utility functions to integrate in your application and increase the accessibility of your website. So you can use the features like use full screen to maximize your whole website to the full screen like this. You can also use these hooks to create interactive UIs like you can move this with the help of your mouse cursor. So guys enough of introduction now let's try to use this in our Next.js application. So right now I'm going to show you basic setup in a Next.js application without creating a complex UI. In the possible future videos I will try to make a complex UI with the help of this maintain UI library components. But for now let's start with the Next.js. So here you can see you get the templates for the Next.js and view and many other libraries or frameworks. But I'm not going to use this right now. You can use this if you want. But right now I'm going to show you how you can set up the maintain UI in your Next.js application from scratch. So this is the setup guide for the Next.js. If you want to integrate in your React or any single page applications with the white, then you can use this. So here you can see we can create a Next.js application with the help of this command. So let me quickly create a Next.js application. So here in the terminal I'm going to write this command that is create next app with the latest version and using TypeScript run it in the terminal. And guys you can also use the maintain UI in your existing React or Next.js application. You just need to skip this part where I'm creating the new application. So you have to give your application name and yes lint okay so guys here you can see you can use the tailwind css or skip it as i'm going to use maintain ui we don't need the tailwind css in that so i'm going to give it no and we are not going to use the src so i'm going to continue here and no so now you can see the application has been created and now it is going to install all the dependencies so now let's come back to the maintain UI. So here you can see we can customize the installation of the maintain UI. That means we can choose to install the specific part of the maintain UI as the maintain UI supports several features like form, dates, charts, notifications, code highlight and tip top. These features also depends on other libraries and it is going to add a lot to your code base. So currently I'm going to use the core feature of the maintain UI that is going to provide us the components like buttons, overlays, etc. And maybe we can use the hooks. So we are going to select these two. But if you want any other like dates, charts, we can add it from here. Or you can install it later with the help of commands. So we're going to run this to install these two features of the maintain UI. As you can see here, the application has been created. Now we can run the command to install the maintain features. And guys, the next step is to configure the post CSS as the maintain UI depends upon the post CSS to compile its CSS. So you just need to run this command to install the required uh, dependencies for the post CSS. And now we have to create a new file that is postcss.config.cjs. So copy the name from here and create a new file in the root directory. 
and inside that file we have to paste the code given here so that's it we just configured the post css for the main tiny while and guys till now we saw the process that is same for both the pages and app router of the next js but from here it diverts to the specific that is with the pages router and with the app router as i have created the application with the app router i'm going to use this part but if you are using the application that uses pages router then you can use this process where you have to write these codes inside your pages slice app.js or app.tsx as i'm using the app router i'm going to write these code inside the app slash layout.tsx or layout.js if you are using the javascript so let's come to our project and open the app and inside the layout.tsx you can see we have the global style that is by default given by the next.js so let me run the project real quick and pm run dev so this is how our application looks right now and it is styled by the next.js itself so now we are going to write this code from the main time that is importing the style from the main time core so we are going to write this on the top of layout.tsx and we have to import all these components from the maintain core that is color scheme maintain provider and maintain props so we have to also write it on the top like this and now we have to uh, pass this color scheme script inside the head tag inside our layout so it is not here so i have to create the head tag here and put that inside that and further we have to use this maintain provider to wrap our all components or all pages to style the application with the maintain ui so we have to just copy this code from here or just write maintain provider on the top of children maintain provider and move the children in between now we are almost done so let's try to check the application so you can see here the default styling of the next yes has gone and now our background is white that means it is styled by the main tiny UI right now so we can remove the global css from the next yes or you can also use it to override some styles that you don't like from the main tiny UI. now we're done so let's remove the default code from the app.js or sorry page.tsx and here we're going to write home and let's write an h1 tag here hello coders and now let's refresh it there you go and now let's try to use some components from the main tiny ui if you scroll down in the left section then you can see these are the hooks you can use and below that we get the maintain core so in the maintain core you can see there are app cell app res, aspect ratio that is used to give the aspect ratio to any component like images or any other and after that you can see this center it helps us to center any component inside our application but right now i'm interested in the container so let's try to use this so basically what the container does is it is going to give it some margin from left and right and it is going to center our content uh, like we see in the most of the applications on the internet so we just need to uh, import this container from the maintain core and use it and we can also pass some props like these to the container so let's use a basic container inside the home page so i'm going to write import container as a maintain ui core and now we can use the container in our home page so if i write container and now let's refresh it and our text is in the center similarly we can use other components like uh, the most common button so let's find the button here here is the button so here you can see we can customize the button on the website itself and integrate inside your application so let's use this blue button so we are going to import the button from the core and use below the h1 tag 
let's mm, right click me here you can see the button has appeared now we can also customize the button as we saw on the website uh, by changing the size radius and also the background color so just copy the code from here paste it in your application there you see there are two buttons we can use the layout components also like flex grid and center we can design our layout however we want so let's try to use this simple grid so you can also customize this grid option here and spacing and just import the simple grid from the core and copy the code from here or write it yourself simple grid and put some elements inside that grid and it is going to appear on your website as you can see here we can put any react component inside this like we can put the buttons here and there you go we get five buttons inside the grid so that's a simple grid we can also use the grid to make it more customizable so there are a lot of customization for the grid we are going to cover this in the next videos till then keep exploring yourself and that's it for this video i hope you like this video stay healthy keep coding keep watching tutorial for more videos like this